biggest challenge in picking the winner this year was that there were so many good contributions. We had an inner circle of perhaps 10 or 12 who could all have gone into the final round. So it was really hard to find what is the decisive difference between someone who is A and someone who is A star in terms of contribution. So what stood out about Dr. Orifice's essay was, on the one hand, the writing itself. This was really well composed, extremely well written, and right from the start everyone was happy with the way she presented it. But on top of that, it was also outstanding data. This is a completely new field that they have opened up, and in terms of scientific innovation, this was first class. My prize-winning research involves studying somatosensory alterations in autism spectrum disorders. We identified that peripheral somatosensory neurons, which are neurons outside the brain, are dysfunctional and contribute to touch overreactivity in animal models for autism. Touch overreactivity during development contributes to abnormal brain development, as well as some ASD-related behaviors. Lastly, we found that if we can essentially turn down the volume on peripheral somatosensory neurons to reduce touch overreactivity in the mice, we can improve touch, but not only touch, uh, improve some aspects of brain development and other behaviors related to autism. So my research uh, focuses on understanding how brain cells uh, react to uh, anoxic injury in a, in a circulatory arrest. Uh, more specifically, uh, we, are, we are trying to understand uh, how to actually preserve those cells and how to recover those brain cells uh, back to their physiological state. Uh, that being said, in particular, uh, what we are doing is that we are trying to develop new, uh, novel uh, perfusion te uh, technology, uh, basically, uh, and uh, also trying to develop uh, uh, the fluids that you want to perfuse those brains because uh, you have to perfuse those brains with something so we are developing a blood analog in essence uh, and uh, so we're trying to reintroduce blood flow back into the dead brains and uh, try to see if we could bring those cells back to life. So my research involves the studying of the subcortical control of episodic memory formation. We found that the hardly studied uh, brainstem nucleus, the nucleus insertus, can control the formation of episodic memories bidirectionally. We found that this uh, nucleus sends an ascending inhibitory projection into the hippocampus where it targets a very specific population of interneurons and through the control of these interneurons it can probably control the number of cells that form a memory engram. And we're really seeing that the nucleus insertus plays a very important role in the encoding of the memories of our everyday lives and we think that uh, this nucleus can be a very promising target for future therapies aiming at diseases where episodic memory formation is involved like depression, phobias or post-traumatic stress disorder. The Eppendorf and Science Prize is important to Eppendorf because the vision and the values of our founders to help improve human living conditions continue to live on in this prize. We do see well-established science out there. We, on the other hand, want to reward young scientists at the beginning or an early stage of their career that do outstanding research. And we have done that together with science for 18 years now. That's fantastic legacy. And the prize actually has gone from strength to strength and is now one of the most highly regarded prizes in neurobiology for young researchers. What motivates me most in my research is uh, trying to understand uh, how brain cells die. Uh, and uh, also on top of it, trying to understand and find out certain ways how to prevent those cells from dying and uh, again recover those cells and, ho and hopefully in the future uh, translate those findings into clinical practice. I would advise uh, for researchers who are thinking of entering next year uh, to, to find a narrative that makes the interpretation of your research really enjoyable and understandable for those people who are not working on the field. And I would also advise to find those people who uh, you appreciate your uh, uh, writing skills and ask for their opinion because it's going to uh, uh, tremendously uh, increase the value uh, of your essay. 2019 indeed is a very special award because it's been awarded to a woman 
Lauren Orefici is the first Grand Prize winner since it was awarded to Marlene Cohen in 2012. We especially encourage early career women scientists to apply for this prize. We have seen some incredible examples of winners, female winners, that have gone on to be extremely successful. Miriam Goodman, Doris Tsao, Rachel Wilson, Marlene Cohen, and now Lauren Orefici. I think the prize will help my research in many ways. It's an incredible honor to receive this award and it's an incredible platform to be connected with an amazing group of other scientists and having people read my essay and read about our work is, is incredibly helpful and allows us to have a platform for people to know about what we do and who we are and just integrate us more into the scientific community. It's really exciting.